video and today's video is going to be on just a few different dyno combos you can do i saw a couple of people requested in the um, comments of the deck profile um if you have yet to seen the deck profile go check it out um on the channel uh link will be in the description um also uh discord's in the description as well paypal everything else is in the description also um but yeah these uh the combos will be mostly two car combos only two car combos except for the one the ending one will be a three car combo uh all of them uh, all of them are pretty much do the same you're pretty much doing the exact same combo you're just doing it backwards pretty much this is the standard way the oh peanut butter and jelly one two punch um you need for this one um you don't really need like i say you don't need these cards you just need a way to get to these cards sorry about the camera hold on guys camera's messing up on me There we go there we go but yeah um you just need to find a way to get to these cards this is just the best way because you open these and you're 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 fine you're golden um but well let's go ahead and get into it uh what you want to do is uh first you will uh normal summon ovi um you don't want a shotgun um your miscellaneous because they could have gamma they can have whatever so you want to wait make it seem like you don't have gamma you gotta play the gambling effect so if they try to ash this or they try to gamma it then then you always chain miss after to protect it so you use Ovi effect you normal summon Ovi effect chain uh, miss miss is in the graveyard now um, what you're gonna do is uh, sorry the decks a little small I've been working with it taking it apart putting other cards in other decks um, you have baby now what we do is we take our misc from the graveyard, right? Take our misc from the graveyard, you banish it. Um, it now what its banish effect does is allows a special summon a level one dinosaur from deck. Um, we go get the crocodile uh, right here. Archosaur. Special summons Archosaur. Now Archosaur's effect is whenever it's special summoned or normal summoned, you can pop one dinosaur monster you control or one dinosaur in your hand and search a double evolution pill. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pop baby in hand to search pill, uh, armed archosaurs effect will resolve first. So you go and search yourself a pill, double evolution pill, okay? Now baby effect will activate to special summon a level four or lower um, and it's not a hard one's return. That's why it's busted. Uh, that's why I think the OCG had it limited for the longest time, if it's not still. Uh, especially summon another baby. Okay. So let's go ahead and get everything in frame here so you can see. Especially summon another baby. Now what you do is you use over after effect. Its effect is, other than searching and add one to your hand or dumping in the graveyard, its secondary effect is you can... Pop one dinosaur monster on the field. That's your side or their side. Pop any uh, level, uh, level four dinosaur monster on the field. So it has to be level four or lower. Pop a level four or lower dinosaur monster on the field and special summon a dinosaur monster from the graveyard. What's crazy about that is its resurrect effect has no stipulations. It doesn't matter if, what level it is as long as it's a dino or anything really. It could Even if there was a Lynx it, 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 or anything. It, it, it don't matter. You can special summon it. So it's really busted in that regards. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna pop baby. We're gonna special summon the other baby from our grave. Now the baby that we just popped will get its effect uh, to special summon another uh, level four or lower. And this way we're gonna go get a follow up as in a uh, miscellaneous source. Uh, uh, special summon miscellaneous. Now what we do is Link Archosaur off to bring out the Link Rebo. Okay. Now what we can do is immediately link the Link Rebo away. Granted, you didn't have to if you didn't need to, because you'll have uh, like four. Uh, you'll have three other cards in hand um, if you wanted to banish those instead. Um, but this we're just doing the two car combo uh, and a secure garden. Now what we can do is we can overlay these two 
into, if you're playing against a combo deck, you want to go into Dolka. If you're playing against a back row deck, I advise going into Lagia. Um, Dolka? Dolka is not a hard once per turn negate. It's not even really a once per turn, really. As long as he has materials, you can negate monster effects. Um, now what we can do is take the pill to banish the Archosaur, one dino and one non-dino, to bring out the conductor. And now we would pass turn with this being our ending board, ending board just off of two cards. We ended on a Dolka, a Conductor, a Baby Sarasaurus, and a Secure Gardener. Secure Gardener is actually not that bad of a card because it, um, whenever you were to take uh, effect damage, you don't. And battle damage too. The first battle damage you would take, you would, you wouldn't take. So, it it's pretty. It's not that bad. It's it actually comes in handy. Definitely if you're playing against like something like Prank Kids or something, and they try to burn you, uh, you don't take the burn damage. Um, the first bird damage or whatever, but, um, that's pretty much it off the, uh, two car combo. Um, like I said, you don't have to have, uh, those cards exactly just two forms of those cards. It's literally the same combo. The other combos I'm going to show you are different ways you can get into this. Um, that's it for the first combo. All right. Let's now the second, the second combo guys is literally just misc and baby. You don't have petite. I mean, you don't have Ovi, but you need to find a way to get to Ovi. This is how another way you can get to it. Like I said, it's the exact same combo, just backwards. Um, first thing you'll do is sadly you have to shotgun the mist, so it's kind of more dangerous and risky. You uh, discard the mist. One thing I will say though is if you don't know dinos that well, miscellaneous Saurus's first effect where you discard it to pretty much make your stuff untouchable is not a once per turn, hard once per turn. So if you have a secondary copy and like you discarded it and then they gamut it, and you had another one, you could discard it again to make your stuff immune. It's really good in that regards. The only one that's a hard one's return is its banish effect. Um, so we discard the mist. We're going to immediately banish the mist to special summon our Archosaur. Archosaur's effect, once on summon, it's going to pop the baby from hand. Baby from hand is going on to special. Special summon over Raptor from deck. At this point, we haven't even used our normal summon yet. So what we're gonna do now is use Ovi Raptor to go and get us another baby Sarasaurus. I'm sure a lot of you can already see where this is going. We're going to get the baby Sarasaurus from hand. We're going to normal the baby Sarasaurus. Over Raptor effect, pop the baby. Special summon the other baby from grave. Baby Sarasaurus effect again. Two special summon miscellaneous source to give us a follow up to banish effect to bring out whatever we may need on the following turn. Now, here we go again. Link Krebo. Okay. And now we're going to overlay into Dolka. Link the Link Krebo away for the Secure Gardener. And then well, eventually we, off of that, we added a pill too. Sorry, I forgot. I got ahead of myself. You add a pill off the Archosaur when you pop the first baby. Now we activate the pill. Banish the Link Kriva and the Archosaur to special summon the Conductor. Exact same inboard. Okay. So that's it for combo two. You pretty much used baby and miss to get yourself here. Granted, if you didn't have Misk and Baby, you can and you had Fossil Dig and Baby or Fossil Dig and uh, um, Misk, it doesn't matter. Fossil Dig is pretty much your whatever card you're missing. I'm not going to show any combos with Fossil Dig because Fossil Dig is literally whatever card you're missing for the combo. So I'm not going to really show any car, uh, combos with that. But that's it for combo two. Let's get on uh, combo number three. All right, guys, here we are with combo number three. And combo number three is just Lost World and Soul Eating Over After. Um, Lost World is actually really busted of a field spell, to be honest. Um, it debuffs everything. It's not a dino. Um, gives your opponents a token. Um, chain blocks for you on top of chain block, and it also makes it to where your opponent cannot target anything except for the token the normal dinosaur which means their own cards too so if they're trying to target their own cards they can't target it um so what, how we're going to start out this combo is we're going to uh, 
uh, activate Lost World. We're going to normal summon Over Raptor. Over Raptor's effect, chain Lost World. So this is going to be chain link one. This is going to be chain link two. We chain blocked our soul leading Over Raptor, so our Over Raptor's for the most part is protected. Uh, we're going to give our opponent a token. So we'll give them, we'll just give them a rock for the token. Uh, we'll give them a token. We'll go ahead and just, I put this in frame right here and say that's the token on their side of the field, okay? So now what we're going to do is we are going to search miscellaneous source. Search miscellaneous source, okay? We had missed a hand. What we're going to now is we're going to discard the miss. Do not banish miss yet. Keep miss in the graveyard because you need a target to be able to use this next effect. What we're going to do now is we're going to use solely an over after his effect, right? His secondary effect. Pop the token. Well, we're not really going to pop the token. We're going to attempt to pop the token. We're going to pop the token and then Lost World's effect to protect the token. So we're going to use over after uh, to try to resurrect from grave. So we're going to use over after his effect, pop the token, chain Lost World to protect the token. Now what we're going Lost World allows us to do is allows us to pop uh, a, a card from deck. So now we'll use Lost World's effect to go and pop a card from deck. And if you haven't already guessed, yes, we're popping baby. Uh, pop baby Sarasaurus um, from uh, deck. This is the graveyard, by the way. Um, I just want to keep it in frame. Let me try to zoom out a little bit. There we go. Um, baby's effect will go and special summon baby Sarasaurus. Now what we're going to do is, now we can banish the mist. Banish the mist to special summon the Archosaur. Archosaur's effect will activate to pop the baby to go and search us pill. Now we have the pill. Baby's effect will uh, activate to go and special summon a mist for the follow-up. Now it's the same combo again. Link Rebo. Link Rebo. Secure Gardena. Overlay Raptor. Misk. Dolka. Pill. Vanish. Two. Bring out Conductor. So now, Lost Words on the field, and everything is debuffed. That's not a Dyna. And they can't target any of your stuff because they control a token. They can only con target the token. They can't even target their own cards. They got to target the token. And even if they try to destroy the token on their turn, you can use Lost Word to protect, pop, and just plus off of it. Okay? So that's it off of those two, that two-card combo with uh, Ovi and Lost World. Um, now let's get on to the last combo I want to show and showcase. All right, guys, here we are with combo number four. Combo number four is going to be just Gamma and a way to have these two cards. So a way to have these two cards or this two-card combo or just any two-card combo for that matter. I'm just showing you this one because it's the best to showcase, honestly. Um, so pretty much just if you had Gamma in hand and the, any of the combos that I showed you previously, okay? So what we're going to do now is the two-card combo again. We're going to go Ovi, Chain Mist, Protect. Always effect. We're gonna go and grab. You guessed it, baby. We're going to banish the mists. Two special. The archosaur. Now we're gonna use archosaur's effect. Pop the baby. To add a double evolution pill. Now baby effect is going to activate. To go and special summon. You guessed it. Another baby Sarasaurus. Okay. So now, at this point, we can use Over Raptor's effect again. Effect, pop, pop baby, special summon baby from grave. Baby's effect from grave will go and special. In this case, we you know how we've been going in special summon misc, right, for a follow-up? Not this time. This is where the card that I play that some dino players have been cutting for no reason comes into handy because it's a wonderful extender. Summon giant Rex, okay? So now what we're going to do is we're gonna link this off into Link Krebo, like before, okay? But we're not gonna go to Secure Gardener because Secure Gardener cannot be linked off, okay? So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna use the Giant Rex and the Link Krebo, okay? 
to go into cipher and learn lambda. Okay, we special summon lambda. Now, what we can do is activate our pill. Special summon the pill, banish the giant rex and the link Kribo from the graveyard to go and special summon conductor. Okay. Now, what we can do is activate giant rex's effect. Whenever it gets banished, you can special summon it. Okay. Now, what we can do is overlay into Dolka. Okay. So now, our gamma's live. We have a pop, two negates, well, three negate, uh, three negates really, because of this. And let's say, well, what about what about not having misc for protection or for a follow up? Well, if um, what you could do is once they're doing their combos, for an example, whenever you feel the need to use conductor's effect, okay, you can pop your baby and uh, book a moon their stuff, flip their stuff face down. Baby's effect will activate on their turn to go and special summon Oviraptor. You can summon it wherever, attack or defense, it don't matter. Now Oviraptor's effect will go off, and yes, you guessed it, search misc. Now, so technically, you had two negates, three negates, book a moon, and now you have protection if they try to de destroy any of your dinos or anything like that, it's unaffected by card effects because of misc, all on their turn. One thing I want to say is, if there's any, and that's not just with Lambda, I just choose Lambda because it always makes my my Gammas n not dead. They're never dead. And even if you found yourself, what's crazy is even if you found yourself having to banish your Gamma, the one from hand, if you, as long and you still went into Lambda, Lambda's effect at the end of your turn would activate and add you another Gamma. So let's say for an example, we didn't banish the Link Karibo. We banished the uh, we banished the Archosaur and uh, Gamma for an example. I mean, not the Archosaur, but the uh, um, Giant Rex and the Gamma to special summon the Conductor. Right. Well, since this is banished, and then you went into Lambda anyways. Lambda's secondary effect is whenever there's a banished Psychic Monster, you can add one Cyframe card, or whatever, from your deck to your hand. Let me see here says during the end phase add one cyframe card from your deck to your hand okay so that means that since this was banished you can add another gamma from your deck to your hand which is pretty cool so which means you're always going to have your gamma granted yes i know if you're you if your driver's already banished then gamma's dead i'm not saying i'm just saying like if you had to banish this to summon conductor and then you went into lambda anyways at the end phase lambda would search you another gamma so, which is also in the weird way, like it filters out your deck, gets the bricks out because once it, once you use this once, it's dead unless you play multiple drivers, which is bricky anyways. So, but um, that's it for the different kind of combos. I just want to show you this. One thing I, I was want to say a second ago is if you want to get into any link two, and still end on normal combo, then the way this combo I just showed you is the way to go. The only thing is you just won't end on Lambda. If you want to end on Pentastag or you want to end on IP Mascarina or you want to end on uh, Anaconda or whatever, this is the way to go. You go this way and special summon uh, Giant Rex and then make sure you don't use his effect until you're banishing him off pill. If you shotgun his his uh, his um, effect, like if you get him too early in the combo, then he won't. you won't be able to utilize him as being an extender. Um, and don't overlay with him first before you link him away. That's one other thing I want to say too. Uh, but other than that, guys, that's actually it for the combo tutorial. If I missed out anything or you want to see something else or whatever the case may be, uh, just let me know in the comment section. Um, I'm in the process of working on this deck anyways. Um, even though I, I went undefeated with it, I still think it needs tweaked um, and needs some things swapped out. But I'm trying out some different builds with it. Um, but yeah, that's it guys. Please like comment and subscribe if you're not already. Uh, we recently, like I said, we passed, uh, the 200 threshold. So let's just keep it moving and keep going guys. Um, growing the DDD fam and just making, making awesome, making awesome videos as we go. Uh, 
Hope you all guys enjoyed it, and you have a wonderful day whenever you may be watching this night, evening, morning. Uh, take care. Drip out. Peace.